Well, one of our goals here is showing you Chinese culture. That is right. So I decided that we would go to Chinatowns in New York, Chicago, and San Francisco. And I discovered during these three trips, there's this effort underway to expand interest in an ancient Chinese performance. Portsmouth Square, San Francisco. This is Chinatown's outdoor living room. A gathering spot to play games, exercise, and on special days, get to witness the new look of an ancient Chinese tradition. Lion dance. Lion dance means a lot of things to me. I was so entranced by it, I guess. Colorful, vibrant, and exciting to see. What is lion dance and why is that important to uh, China? Uh, what, what the lion dance represents is actually um, to scare away evil spirits. There was a story about um, a village that would have a monster come and take away all his crops. They decided to pick the two bravest villagers in the village, gave them a costume that mimicked like a lion. They ran out there with the lion and they banged on pots and pans, which represents the drums and the cymbals today. The monster actually saw its own reflection in the actual forehead of the lion, which it has here that you see on every single lion, right? And when it saw his reflection, it scared its own self away. And that's how it happened. Norman Lau is the founder of Lion Dance Me. Left, blink, right, blink. His center, goal? Blink. One, two, three. Bring this four, colorful five, piece of culture six, to the one, world two, outside three, of Chinatown. Down, jump forward one. But we know that sometimes it's not manageable for the mainstream to ca capture the interest. So you kind of twist it a little bit. I promise not to cry on national television. In 2012, the world saw Lion Dance Me reach the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent. How was that experience? Uh, it was honestly surreal. Because I went on America's Got Talent with the group at a very young age, uh, my freshman year of high school. Ten years later. I am now 24 years old. Well, I had to think about that. Ivan Yu is still at it finding himself lifted to new heights. I'm up there at least 13, 14 feet, so if he drops me from that height, I'm in big trouble. Lion Dance Me is also providing opportunities for teen girls to participate in what has been a male-dominated tradition. You see the crowd, they're like, whoa, it's a girl. Long fly up to the one. It's just really like satisfying to know that females can do lion dance as well. Three, four, swing the head up. The troop Ball works jump. hard Big jump. in and out of costume. Two, three, four. It's down. all designed to be ready. Down, punch up two. To spread the spirit of China. We do quite a bit of traveling. To anyone and everyone they can. And we want to kind of share it with the world. Having this cultural art definitely helps realize what being a Chinese American can be. So if you ever get to Chinatown, look around, explore it, and get ready to experience the energy. This is what it feels like to be connected. The history. The tradition of it is amazing. And the legacy. It honestly feels like a family of lion dance. Man, that's amazing how in sync they have to be to be able to both jump up and land on those stools. You're right, because there's one person working the head, one yeah. person working the tail. So which would you rather I be? I want to be the head, of okay. course. Yeah. <laughs> then you Definitely. better make sure you've got somebody that you trust behind you. I trust you. them, you know, <laughs> even if you're falling down. Well, I mean, I don't know. That'd be a lot to hold somebody up. It is, up. yeah. I don't want to see where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Well, where have they performed? All over the world. I mean, they've been yeah. over to Europe. They talk a lot about their trips to Las Vegas, other shows around the United States. And the organizer told me, who knows? Maybe they'll come to Indianapolis for a performance. So that'd, that'd be, be kind fun. of fun to see. Yeah.